I'm about to travel from the bottom to the top of this country to ask you guys what you think about the election. I'm starting here in Hobart and I'm going to be hitching a ride as far as I can north in 10 days. From Hobart to FNQ. Woo! All by hitchhiking. Warwick and Brooker. This is pretty much where Hobart ends and the rest of Australia starts. Right, it's quarter past 11. I need to be in Devonport by 6 to get the ferry. Hope to make it. Oh, single rainbow, man! Single rainbow! You tell me, Brian, this is a, uh, a show where I interview people about their thoughts on the upcoming election. How do you feel about it? Oh, I've got some pretty strong views. Your strongest point of view, what would it be? Muslim immigration. Uh, I think, you know, I might be considered a redneck as such, but I think um, there seems to be such a, a small minority in Australia, less than 2%, I believe, there just seems to be so much about them, you know, whether it be the halal, um, the, the, the tax on the food. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm an immigrant from England, and uh, I've seen firsthand what gone, what's going on over there. If you uh, didn't know, I was, if I didn't tell you I was an immigrant, you wouldn't know it. I haven't insisted on any changes to suit me. I fit in, I do the Christmas thing, you know, I've got a few children, pay my tax, I work. Um, I don't expect anybody to change their lifestyle drastically to accommodate me. Have you had any bad personal experiences with a Muslim? No, no, I've actually, um, I've got one who I consider a very, very dear friend. She's not a hardcore, not a hardcore Muslim, you know, she's very, uh, you know, she believes in her faith, but same again, you could walk past her and you wouldn't know she's a Muslim, you know? Just a, a nice person, really good heart. Um, and I guess, you know, I won't say every Muslim's a bad Muslim. I'm sure there's lots of good ones out there. I know one myself I'm very, very fond of. But, you know, the ones that are coming over here and you see on the streets of Sydney and stuff like that, um, in some of the little suburbs, the way they're pushing their views, um, yeah, I don't think we want that here. Well, that was Brian. I think Brian was a pretty interesting guy, you know. He, he believes in borders, he believes in reforming the family court. The great thing about getting out of my bubble is meeting people like Brian. There's probably a lot of people like him. Australia is a very diverse place. It's certainly not that diverse in Brian's mind. Brian certainly challenged a lot of the things I believe in. It also gave me hope because he's a really lovely guy. Uh, coming into the 2016 election, who are you going to vote for? I don't know anything about politics. You don't, know? don't follow politics. Then how do you decide how to vote? Um, my husband and I, we sit down and we work out what's best for us as a family. Right, so you vote as a block? Yep. Wow, wow. Do you feel very powerful as a family? No. How many are in your family? Uh, we've got five children between us. Five children? If all those five children voted, that's a significant amount of power in Tasmania. Do you know senators are fighting over a number as small as 25,000? So your five in 25,000 is statistically quite powerful. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel? Um, that means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to me about politics is like asking a duck with no legs to swim in a pond. Right, right. I thought I wouldn't make it to the ferry, but thankfully someone gave me a ride. Well, it's been a pretty crazy day. I woke up in Hobart and now I'm in Devonport, about to get to Victoria by the morning. Ooh, so shiny. Boarding the spirit of Tasmania is like going into Crown Casino. <laughs> I hope there's pokies on board. I hope you enjoyed episode one. I've shot five and I've still got five to shoot. Follow me on social media. Give me suggestions on the best route to take to far north Queensland. Talk to me. I won't bite back. <laughs>